Hi, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is about a question I received from a fellow painter asking me, what about neutrals? Do they work with the Bob Burridge color wheel? Let's find out. And now for some painting tips 101. Let's all decide what is a neutral. A neutral, well, it's basically one color, and then there's three ways you can make it neutral. Look at this. Just by adding white, it lightens up the, the color. Okay, so they would consider that to be neutral. Add some gray to it. It makes it even more neutral. Add a whole lot of gray to it, and now it's the most beautiful charcoal gray. Would you believe that that color came from that color? Isn't that amazing? Just by adding some black. Let's go now to neutrals. Everyone knows if you use two colors opposite to each other on the color wheel, it becomes a neutral. I know, amazing. Here's an example. Take the red and the blue. The red, here we go. I mean, the orange is red and the blue. There they are, right? Mix them together. Look at that color you get. Again, add white to it. Becomes a beautiful gray. Add more white. Now we're getting this most beautiful gray. And then add more white. It's gorgeous. Can you believe that this color came from these two colors? Now let's find out if it works for my color wheel. Of course it does. Let's take a look, shall we? So this time I've decided to use the green and purple. There it is, green and purple across from each other on my color wheel, okay? Not on the normal color wheel. And you mix them together, you get this beautiful chocolate. Add white to it, oh, look at that. It's so soft, almost like a bark. More white, another beautiful color, and all the way down to here, kind of like, almost like a titanium white, okay? And uh, not quite, like a buff. That color came from those two colors. Absolutely amazing. Let me show you another version so another version is blue and yellow across from each other on my color wheel. Okay, mix those two together, add some white. Look at this beautiful coloring in here. And it comes out this dark, dark green, kind of like a forest green. Again, from these two colors, add more white, and you get beautiful, beautiful marks of different values of green in there. Here's a version I did of a painting using just those two colors those two colors plus white and black and created my standing figure in my class. Okay, so now let's do another one, but this time I'm actually gonna do the painting. This is a quick sketch I did of a piano player. And so this is another neat thing that I like to do with my uh, color wheel is let's pull out the colors that made that color and paint directly on the painting. For instance, I could go like this, it pops it out now. Oof, so adding color. And now the blue, the other color. There we go. I'm just painting this upside down quickly just so we can get a sense of where we're all going here with this. And so it just makes it pop more using the same colors on top of the combination. It's a fun little trick, so it becomes a neutral, then you use those two colors that made the neutral pure, and then paint back into it. I hope you like this one. Uh, you should see my table. It's full of paint right now, and I'm still working not only on acrylics and pastels, but I'm also working here on canvases, working this out, working on my, uh, my donut series. So I'll see you in the next Bob Blast, and thanks for tuning in. Hey, join me in Mexico for another workshop. There's just a couple of spots open at the Casa de los Artistas. And it's January 21 to the 28th. It's about 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta. Come on and join us. There's just a couple more spots that open. It's fantastic, great views. You've heard me talk about it before. Go to my website again and push those red buttons and you'll see all about it. See you in the next one.